Hello, this is Taylor with Valley Scape. I'm here in Temecula today, and we installed an irrigation system for a, a client, and we installed seven new valves, and she let us know that one of them is not turning off. So I wanted to do a video about what you can do first to check if you've got this situation and you're a homeowner, what to check uh, to see if, if you can get it going. Because oftentimes, I will tell you, it is something very simple. And so you're gonna need a couple tools today. You're gonna need a screwdriver, preferably one that has a flathead and then a Phillips. Mine has a Phillips on the other side. That's great, but if not, a flathead will usually suffice. A pair of wire strippers like this, so you can cut the wires back. And if at all possible, grab a, buy a new solenoid for the valve or the zone that's not working properly. So you need to know that the solenoid is specific to each brand and some valves specific to just that valve. So if you can, go to an irrigation supply store. That's gonna be your best bet. They will have what you need. Um, try to take a picture of the solenoid, a detailed picture, take it to them and show it to them. If you don't have an irrigation supply store near you, Home Depot or Lowe's has some of the parts and you may find what you need. I don't recommend buying parts there, but if you're in a pinch, that's what you can do. So the solenoid is this, has the wires coming out of the top, it's the electronic part of the valve. I'm gonna show you up close what you need to do next, and hopefully this will get you up and running. Okay, so we're here at the trouble valve, <clears throat> the one that was complained about. Real quick, we'll go over what to do if it won't shut off, but we're also gonna address what to do if it won't turn on. First of all, if it won't shut off, check the solenoid. This piece that's existing, make sure it's tight. I found that the solenoid on this valve was open, thus allowing it to be bypassed and just stay open uh, like a manual way to open the valve. So that was shut off, everything's fine. If the valve still won't shut off, open this little piece on the back. It's called the uh, air purge screw. Sometimes something might get jammed inside the valve. This will help get it through, shut it off might take about 10, 15 seconds for the valve to actually completely shut down and you're good to go after that. Now, if the valve won't turn on, oftentimes the problem is the solenoid. So check it out. One of the first things you can do, the low hanging fruit, is check this piece right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. This is called the flow control. Sometimes we find that these are shut off and it chokes the valve off so you can't get water to go through it. Check that first, make sure it's open. If it doesn't turn with minimal effort, um, probably wanna leave it alone. It might be an old valve and it may break. So if you have your solenoid, go ahead and uh, try to replace this first. This often is the number one problem when a valve won't turn on, okay? So take the old one off, shut the water off first and take the old one off don't get any dirt in there and screw the new one back in. It just twists off and it may take about three, four turns to get it off. And then when you're putting the new one in, be careful putting it in. You can cross thread it easily. So just take your time. Don't be in a panic and put it back together. Then on the wiring side, uh, make sure one wire goes to white because that is your common connection. Make sure you don't twist it too much because it can break off inside there. Just get it snug. And then the other side, the other wire coming off the solenoid will go to one of the colored wires. So blue in this case. So don't put them to the same color, okay? On the, the main run of wire. So go ahead back to the controller, try it out. And oftentimes this will fix the problem of the valve not turning on. So hope this helps. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.